What happens when the smartest AI in the world, ChatGPT, tries to solve a Rubik's Cube? Today I gave ChatGPT a completely random 3x3 scramble, to see if it can solve it of course, and it did not go as expected. But before I show you that, let's explain how a robot solves a cube different from a human. This is an official 3x3 scramble. It turns your solved cube into a random unsolved state when you copy the moves. A cuber would take the cube and first inspect it before trying to solve it. They do their best to formulate a solution based on one of the speed cubing methods. Some of the most popular ones are CFOP, RU, and ZZ. Or a beginner cuber might use the layer by layer method. The thing is, a human can't see all the way to the end of the solve. They may be able to predict the first few steps, but after that, they have to use look-ahead skills and intuition to solve the rest of the cube. But an AI doesn't need checkpoints throughout the solve like us cubers do. And because of this, they can generate a much more efficient solution to a scrambled Rubik's Cube. Usually under 20 moves, whereas an efficient solve with the CFOP method would usually take around 50 moves. So now we come back to ChatGPT. ChatGPT, being an AI, would almost certainly find all these programs online that can solve a cube in the most efficient way. I won't spoil too much about what happened, but let's just say I might have found ChatGPT's kryptonite. So I started off by going to a website that gives you official 3x3 scrambles. I pasted the scramble in ChatGPT and asked it to solve it. And then it said this, I don't have the capability to physically manipulate a Rubik's Cube. Well yeah, obviously, it's an AI, but I guess it's my fault for saying show me your solution. And then it decided to tell me the steps to actually teach myself how to solve the cube, but this is just copy and pasted from like the first website that comes up if you look up how to solve a Rubik's Cube. But anyways, to make sure this would work, I asked it if it could tell me the moves needed to solve the specific scramble. And it said of course, just copy and paste the scramble notation and I'll guide you through the solution. So I did exactly what it asked, nothing attached to that message, I just pasted the scramble again. And now we're talking, ChatGPT actually gave me moves to solve this scramble this time. And what's more is it's almost exactly 20 moves, which is about how many moves the cube solving programs online take to solve it. Alright, so let's just do these moves on our cube real quick and it should be solved. And we're done. You serious? Okay, so this obviously didn't work, but I realized there's one thing I forgot to specify. Even though it's known in the speed cubing community, that when you scramble a cube, you start with green in the front and white on the top, maybe ChatGPT doesn't know that, so I decided to specify. But instead of just telling it this, I actually asked it which way I should hold it, because maybe it wants me to do it a different way, I don't know. And sure enough, when I asked it that question, it said, you should hold the cube with the white face facing upwards and the green face facing towards you. So it's not like it just didn't know about that. But anyways, I decided to try again. This time, I used a new scramble that I got from the same scramble website, because clearly ChatGPT didn't know how to solve the last one. And just like before, it gave me a solution that's about 20 moves, so let's try this one. Yeah, that's not even close. So what's happening here? Well, this is actually really funny. All ChatGPT did to give me the solution was just break up the same moves used in the scramble and tell me those are the moves I need to solve the cube. See, look at this. Here's the scramble, and here's ChatGPT's solution. It's just the scramble, but broken up into pieces. So ChatGPT seems to think that if you just repeat the scramble, it will solve the cube. So I was getting secondhand embarrassment here, but I decided to try to help ChatGPT. So I told it, that's just the scramble broken up into pieces. Do you actually know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? And it's very kind actually, it says apologies for the confusion. Yes, I do know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. And then in that same message, it says here's a step-by-step -step solution to solve the cube from the given scramble. And then it basically did the same thing, 
it took the scramble that I gave it, but it added in some random moves, and this definitely did not solve the cube. But it didn't stop here. I decided to go on and actually explain how scrambling a Rubik's Cube works. So I said the sequence of moves that I sent is the scramble for the Rubik's Cube. It turns a solved cube into a scrambled state for me to figure out how to solve again. Can you tell me how to solve the cube in the scrambled state that the move sequence creates? And even after all this clarification, ChatGPT just can't grip the concept of solving a Rubik's Cube. It just kept repeating the scramble back to me and tried to tell me that's how to solve the cube. So I decided to be straight up with it and tell it you are just repeating the moves that are in the scramble and pretending it solves the cube. Repeating the scramble just scrambles it more. And oh, Mr. Knows Everything ChatGPT tries to tell me that I'm the one doing this wrong. First it says, I apologize for the mistake. And then it says, since you provided the scramble notation but not the solved state of the cube, I cannot give you the exact moves to solve it. To help you solve the cube from a scrambled state, I need to know the initial state of the cube. Okay, so ChatGPT needs to know that before the cube is scrambled, it's solved. If that's it, I can do that. So, in my next message, I tell it exactly that. Tell me the moves needed to solve a cube when a solved cube is scrambled with the green face in front and the white face on top with this scramble. And again, it says apologies for the confusion, but here's the promising part. Now that I have the initial state of the cube, I can guide you through the solution. So surely this will be what we finally need. But it literally just repeats the scramble back to me again. What the heck? I tell it, you need to figure out your own moves to solve the scrambled cube. What more information do you need to do this? I don't have the capability to physically manipulate objects like a Rubik's Cube. Well yeah, we know this, but none of the other cube solving programs have that ability either, and they can do it. And then it tries to make amends by just explaining how to solve a cube with the beginner's method. I don't know why it did this. So I told it again, you don't need to physically solve the cube, but can you tell me the moves needed to solve a cube from any scrambled state? And again, it tells me yes, if you provide me with the moves that resulted in the scrambled state of the Rubik's Cube, I can certainly help you find the solution. So this time, I don't want to be let down again, so before I provide it with the scramble again, I ask it, is there any other information about the cube you need to know to generate the correct solution? To generate the correct solution, I need two pieces of information. Okay, this is good, it's telling us what it needs exactly. The initial state of the cube and the sequence of moves that resulted in the scrambled state of the cube. Well that's really funny ChatGPT because I've already given you both those things like 10 times. And then finally it didn't just repeat back the scramble, it gave me unique moves. So ChatGPT now found a solution with new moves. So now we know that ChatGPT can actually solve a Rubik's Cube.